welcome to another new video. In today's video, we'll be talking about Shire Yellow. Shire Yellow is one of those colors in the Shaminka Horridum Aquarel Super Granulation Colors and it is in the Shire series. So the Shire series, there are five colors. I've already introduced two green ones and today we're looking at the yellow. Um, this color, I got it as a half pen. So as you can see, I have the label over here. From the label, you can see that it's made from PY159 and PV62. So PY159 is Volcano Yellow, which we have uh, reviewed um, previously. And PV62 is uh, supposed to be a Cobalt Violet Hue. I don't know why I call it Cobalt Violet. It's not a Cobalt uh, pigment. Anyway, it is granulating, as you can see from here. And uh, when I try to kind of uh, generate or make this um, Shire Yellow, I was able to kind of like get it. I think it's possible. But PV62, I think it's not a very common pigment. It is, um, uh, not many companies have it, not, not many makers have it. So let's go back to uh, the pigment information. It is supposed to be a transparent color. It has five stars on the light fastness uh, level, which is excellent. And it's semi-staining according to the label and it's granulating. When I do a swatch, I will swatch it from a higher concentration to a lower concentration. So for this color, you can actually see that at a higher concentration, you do see most of that yellow um, being uh, very concentrated and it drops down and it kind of like covers up the line. So if we draw a line underneath, we can actually see the, we can compare, you can actually see the yellow uh, pigment just kind of deposit on top of the line. So if you do not want it, if you want it to be rather transparent, don't use it at a higher concentration because you're likely to see that yellow coming out and that, that would kind of uh, make it a little bit more opaque. Okay, and at a lower concentration, you can see more, more of the violet um, and, and really it, it's a little bit difficult to kind of disperse the color because that yellow just comes down very, very readily. Right, so when we look at the water in paint and paint in water test, you could see that for the paint in water test, that yellow dropping down because it has got bigger particles and then the, um, the cobalt violet hue, the, the cobalt violet PV62 um, just forms a ring around it, like diffuses out faster, it forms a, a violet color ring around it. And for the uh, water in pigment test, you have that backflow of that um, you know, pig, uh, violet pigment going around it. So it's supposed to be semi-staining. So what I'll do here, what I'll do here is I'll just kind of scrub off a small section with a, with a synthetic brush. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is with one scrub. And I'm going to try to repeat this a second time. And um, this is what we get. All right, so it is, I would say, semi-staining because I could not get it back to, to the paper color, um, especially because I think the cobalt violet, the sick PV62, uh, kind of like goes down and sticks to the paper a little bit more. So when we look at the, the gradient test, it's pretty similar to the, the, our, our uh, swatch where you can see that yellow dropping down very early, um, very quickly at the top. And then as the, as the, as the water goes down, uh, flows down, you, you have that purple going down very fast and goes down to the bottom. So yeah, so this is to show you how different the two colors, the two pigments are. So now we are going to just look at the comparison uh, with the other colors and also um, when it's mixed with other colors um, in, the color, in the color wheel. So when mixed with the different the, the colors in the color wheel, um, the 12 colors, um, I, I think my conclusion is that it is really like mixing a, a, a light brown, like a ochre color. Um, and such, such that you do see for the blues and the greens, you get various shades of green color. So it's just yellow plus blue, yellow plus green. So you get all those olive greens um, and, and like a, a, a lighter, like a greenish color. Like it kind, kind of turns the uh, phthalo green into, into like a emerald green color. For the complementary color, which is the, the magenta and the purple, you get like a, you get a brown. And then um, it just makes everything, um, the warmer tones, uh, it, becomes a sh it becomes shades of orange and like a deep um, orange red color and, and, and dark brown. So in fact, I think it just like, just feels like adding sand, <laughs> adding sand to, to the colors and making them just look like um, desert, desert light. So I, I don't know why it's called Shire Yellow because that is in fact a desert yellow, which is pretty similar. 
Okay, so this is a very similar color in the same series, um, in another series, sorry, um, of the super granulation colors from Shaminka, um, and it, it is very, very close. And I did like kind of pick up two colors, which are the Tank Hill and Wobble Brown. So these, these are super separating colors, layering colors from Supervision. Um, they are similar tones, but the colors are not the same. I would say Wobbler Brown is pretty close when looking at it like um, in a concentrated fashion. This Tank Hill is a little bit more yellow than, than this one. And then we do have also, I find it really close to Green Gold, but um, the difference is that this is granulating. Green Gold is, is not. So if you are looking at PY129, um, the one that I have here, Sprinkle one, is actually a combination, two colors. Uh, it's a mixture of two colors, but if you look at the green gold, you know like PY129 is, is a little bit brighter, but um, this is like the duller version, like the Shire Yellow is the granulating and the duller version. So yeah, so this is what I have um, about this color. I think it's good for painting um, sand, um, fruits, probably potatoes, um, maybe mushrooms. Um, what else? <laughs> Those things that are a little bit sandy, a little bit like, um, I think, desert. It feels like there's some sand and stuff, like beaches and stuff like that. Um, a sandy beach or like a sand pit. Um, this would be like a good color to use. So let's see how I use this in a, a short front drawing. Okay, so this is what I've done um, for the using shy yellow. Um, I painted a shop front from Singapore in my sh uh, shop front challenge. So you can find out a little bit more about shop front challenge uh, on my Instagram. I do like live drawings on Instagram and that's on like Sunday morning Singapore time. Um, and we do, we are up to like 80, I don't know, 80 over <laughs> uh, shop fronts. So I've been sharing it once a week and this is one of those that I did uh, several weeks back. Um, and this color is used throughout this building because this building is like a beigey color. Um, and you, as you can see from here, um, that granulation and that, that texture, um, I, could, I could achieve without doing anything else. I was just using, uh, you know, I just kind of layer the colors up and I do, and you do see like these, especially um, the darker colors, I do like add on and it becomes darker. And you do also see that texture after putting them like them up. Um, and I do mix it, I think I did mix it with uh, some of the yellow, um, the greens. So we get these um, uh, probably shadow green, if I'm not wrong. These little dots here, I actually added um, the uh, gouache over it. Um, and I think probably that's very much it. And I really think it's really useful if you have something that looks a little bit antique. Um, you want to like create some kind of nostalgic feel. Um, this color does give that because of that yellow pigment that comes down very, very readily and um, the separation. That is very, very pretty. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video, um, which I've uh, been sharing. I've been sharing a lot of these uh, uh, super granulation colors from the series uh, that Shuminka put out. And, and I probably in doing that, um, do a, doing a review like of all the Volcano, Shire and Desert colors together in a future video. So I do hope that you look up for it. All right. So anyway, you still have about two colors left from Shire um, series and we, we can do like a good summary and I could kind of like bring out the light fastest test to actually show you how that light fastest is like. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this. See you again next week um, and stay safe and bye-bye. Um,